Let's have a look at another example now involving absolute error. We're going to complete this table. Okay, so the first column is the measurement or the measurement shown on the measuring device. Okay, precision is the smallest unit of measure, that's the second column. Absolute error, okay, is the third column, and then we've got the limits of accuracy. Okay, so in other words, we're taking into account the accuracy of the measuring device. Whatever's um, shown on the measuring device, what really, what could the real or the true measurement be between which two values? Okay, so let's look at the first row. Okay, we're given the, uh, the, the measurement 62 centimeters. We're also given that the absolute error is 0 0.5 centimeters. Now, if you recall, absolute error is half the precision. Okay, so uh, I might just write that down here actually. So absolute error is equal to half times the precision. Okay, so if the absolute error is half, okay, the precision must be double that. So the precision is one centimeter. Okay, now the limits of accuracy is, well, we're going to need the absolute error to be able to quote the limit of accuracy. So the way we would write it is we would write it as 62 centimeters, okay, uh, either plus or minus um, 0 0.5 centimeters, or we could write it, in fact, we could write it as, I might just write it up here, or, okay, we could write it as 61.5 centimeters to 62. 0.5 centimeters. Okay, either one is fine. Okay, so and and they're both correct. So let's have a look at the next one now. So 37.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, the precision. Okay, we could we could imply the precision from the measurement. So it looks like the precision is 0 0.1 degree Celsius. Okay. So let me just adjust the lighting a little bit. That'd probably a bit better there. Yep. Okay. Absolute error, okay, is absolute error is half the precision, okay. So we have zero point one, and it's going to be zero point zero five degrees Celsius, and the limits of accuracy, okay, would be basically thirty seven point six plus or minus zero point zero five. So that would be either thirty seven point five five degrees Celsius to thirty seven point 65 degrees Celsius. Okay. All right, let's have a look at the next row. So we've got well, actually nothing filled out except the limits of accuracy, in fact. 18.225 centimeters to 18.235 uh, centimeters. Okay, we know that the measurement must be halfway in between those two. Okay, these two readings. So, in fact, if you take the, the average of those two or the mean value of those two numbers, okay. That'll be easy enough to do. So 225 plus 18.235 over 2, we get 18.23. Okay. So we note that the measurement that must have uh, that must have been uh, displayed on the measuring device must be 18.23 cubic centimeters. Okay. Right. What would the precision be? Now the precision could be implied from the measurement. So the precision would be 0 0.01, because it looks like we could measure not tenths, but hundredths okay, of a cubic centimeter. So the precision would be 0 0.01 cubic centimeters. Okay, the absolute error would be half of that, so that would be 0 0.005 cubic centimeters. Okay, what about the next row? So a measurement there is shown as 60 kilometers per hour, and we're given that the absolute error is 2.5 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now the limit of accuracy, therefore we could actually do that first and it doesn't really matter. Uh, in fact, we could work out both equally well, equally as easily uh, actually as each other. So uh, we could, I'm going to quote the limit of accuracy as 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. Plus or minus 2.5 per hour. Either way, you can either quote it in this form. So that means give or take. Um, that's really what plus or minus means. We can uh, either less 2.5 or you know, uh, uh, increase 2.5 or increase by 2.5. So um, up to 62.5 kilometers an hour or down to 57.5. Okay. The precision is double the absolute error. Okay. So that would be five kilometers per hour. And that's about typical for a speedometer of any vehicle. Okay. They typically 
the analog ones, not the digital ones, of course, but the analog um, speedometers are generally uh, the smallest unit of measure is in five kilometer per hour increments. Okay. All right. Now, this one here, so a, a, a mass 220 grams um, to the nearest 10 grams. Okay. So the precision would be 10 grams. Okay. Since seems to be something that's in blocks of 10 grams, so the, the measuring instrument. Okay, the absolute error would be five grams. Okay, and the limit of accuracy, it's gonna be 220 grams plus or minus five grams. So we could be uh, 215 grams, okay, to 225 grams. Okay, and the last one, we have a, a mass of 1,525 kilograms, and the precision is 25 kilograms, okay. So the absolute error would be 12.5 kilograms, okay? And I'm gonna quote it using the plus or minus. It's a little bit easier. I won't have enough space to write it the other way. Again, they're equally um, valid in terms of quoting a limit of accuracy. So I'm gonna quote it as 1525 kilograms plus or minus 12.5 kilograms, okay? So that's how I would interpret this reading that there could be a mar that's a margin of error. There could be a margin of error of up to 12 and a half kilograms on either side of this reading, um, but the measuring instrument would not tell you that. Okay, that's something that we just have to accept that, you know, the reading could in fact be slightly out by this much. Okay, and we have to allow for that in case whatever it is that we're using that reading for, um, we need to make sure that we can accommodate that.